Welcome to page six of your term combining packet. On this page, we will not only term combine and simplify these expressions, but we will also determine if they are a monomial, a binomial, or a trinomial. Remember, and please record this, a monomial has one type of of term. And that's it. A binomial has two distinct terms and a trinomial has three distinct terms. As we go through and term combine, remember, we're going to, and let me just jot down, and if you would copy this, that would be great. I'm going to put down a trinomial. That's been simplified already. Remember, we're going to use a circle for the constants, a box for a simple x term, and when we have a term that has x to the second power, we have to find another way to highlight that particular term. In this case, we're going to use the cloud. So let's jump in. We'll do a few of these together, and then you can try a few on your own. Let's take a look at number one. Negative 1x and negative 2x those are x terms. Box those in. Minus 3 and minus 7, those are constant terms. We can bring our x terms together and our constants together. A loss of 1 and a loss of 2 make negative 3x. A loss of 3 and a loss of 4, as we combine those together, give us a loss of 10, or minus 10. We can't simplify this expression anymore. It is made up of two distinct terms. Therefore, it's a binomial. Let's move on to the next. Number two. We can see we have each of these terms contain an x squared. So let's use the cloud and make sure and grab the sign in the cloud. This is negative 8x squared, negative 6x squared, and a gain of 2x squared. Each of these terms contain an x squared. We're going to combine all three terms together. But let's start with the first two. A loss of 8 and a loss of 6x squared gives us a negative 14x squared plus 2x squared. We'll bring that down. And then combine the negative 14x squared with the gain of 2x squared we get negative 12x squared. Once all the terms have been combined, we get one single term, making this a monomial. Let's try the next one together, number three. First, let's put a cloud around our x squared term. That's the only x squared term in the expression. Now let's move to boxing in our x terms. Make sure you grab the sign as you box each term and then circle the constants. Let's start with the x squared term. It sits alone, so we just rewrite 2x squared. As we bring together our x terms here, 
a loss of four, but a gain of three leaves us with minus one x, and then our constants here and here. A loss of two and a loss of three give us minus five. That has been simplified. That expression is all set. There are three distinct terms here. This particular expression is a trinomial. Now let's move on. Let's take a look at the rest of the problems. We're going to take a look at number five and number eight together. We can see that in number five right here, our x terms are here, a loss of 2x but a gain of 5, and our constants are here. This, although we don't put the sign, is a gain of 2, and this is a loss of 15. We're going to start with our x terms. A loss of 2x but a gain of 5, I find the difference. I get 3 x. I don't need to put a positive or a gain symbol in front. 3x is fine. Here, a gain of 2 but a loss of 15, we need to subtract. Find the difference. We get a loss of 13. This is clearly a binomial. We have our x term and our constant term. We can't simplify any further. We're done. This is a binomial. And one more, number eight. In number eight, you see we have a loss of 3x, a gain of 6x, and a loss of 10x. Now, we need to combine all these x terms. You can move left to right, or let's bring them together two at a time. You can choose to bring the negative 3x and the negative 10x together first. Very easy. You get negative 13x, or a loss of 13x, plus, let's bring down the 6x. Now, finish out by bringing together the loss of 13 but the gain of six. Here you find the difference. What do you get when you subtract? You should get a negative seven X. Make sure you've recorded all the notes. Clearly, this is a monomial. Finish number four, six, and seven on your own. Pause the video for a moment, and when you're ready, turn the video back on and check your work against the answer key. Please pause your video right now and complete these three problems. Let's check your work. For number four, you should have gotten negative 8x plus 8, clearly a binomial. For number 6, you should have gotten negative 7x minus 9, again a binomial. And for number 7, you should have gotten 5x squared plus 2x minus 2. Clearly, that's a trinomial. This concludes your video on term combining.